Well, this is all very exciting. Yeah, we've just arrived at Liverpool Marina. Yeah, we have, haven't we? First for us. And uh, well, very easy to get here, very straightforward, weren't it? Traffic yep. weren't too bad. The Caravan and Motorhome Club uh, sat nav brought us straight here and uh, just came through the Birkenhead Tunnel, as you probably saw on the clip before this. And that branched off to the left. But Luckily yeah, sat -nav told us to carry that's on. the first tunnel I've seen that's got a branch <laughs> road. What? Uh, yeah. yeah, so, so just turn the uh, dash cam off there's, there. There's just some um, barriers. I had to go into the bar because the chap that we rang was off duty today yeah. and pick up our envelope. So we've got an envelope and that says our bay number, but he said we could use the other bay because they're not out of it yet. Yep. Um, and the dates. Yep, and so we're here for one night. And a voucher. You get a £5 voucher yep. to spend in their cafe yep. if you want to. And it's basically just a car park um, with large wide bays. This is all the information um, on information it. Pack, You've yep. even got Wi-Fi access. Now we had to book this online quite a way in advance. It looks like there's two, possibly three spaces left here. But we're here at midday. You can arrive midday and you have to be off by midday. Um, some people, he said, have stayed two or three nights because this week it is um, half term. It's sort of, sort of a, uh, what we used to call Whitson week. Um, so it's holiday week for a lot of people. Schools are out and so on. But um, it is the Liverpool Marina and um, it's the Yacht Club. So, um, We've got our visitor pass. Yeah, you got a little pass. Yeah. So... So we've got Wi-Fi as well. We're effectively um, we yacht use. club members for 24 hours, I think. Um, we can go in and use the facilities. Really There's 24 hour access to laundry, else and disposal. Oh, there you go. Water, rubbish recycling. Okay. And that says all located to the left of the building as you're looking at it. Right. Swipe your card on the silver access panel. The showers and toilets, vendor machine and bar and restaurant facility. Located in the main building, yep. use your card on the access panel located by the main doors. There you go. Yeah. To help you get started, you will have in your pack this sheet, 24-hour access card, Liverpool city map and pre-booked, if pre-booked, on loan, a voucher to the bar, on loan, sorry, a voucher to the bar and grill. So that's pretty good. Yeah. And we've got a map. And they give you a map. Of Liverpool so we're gonna get um, the dogs organized um, it's quite a cloudy day today so we're gonna walk the dogs and then tuck them up to bed go for a little walk ourselves and we'll take you we'll take you with us when we go we're gonna explore Liverpool well here's the Liverpool Marina this is the yacht club with Sue standing in front of it this is the little area that's cordoned off for camper vans and motorhomes no caravans are allowed but uh, there's all shapes and sizes in here this morning. Several spaces still. We were allocated pitch 14, but there is already someone in it. So we've asked them if we can go in 15. And they said that was absolutely fine. 15 is not taken. Still a nice wide bay. And uh, we're next to another crafter, which is rather good. So we're gonna, the, the dogs are all tucked up. You can see the silver screen is on there. Um, we've got the windows open and uh, the roof lights open so we're safe and secure alarmed up and we're going to walk across and see if we can find Albert Dock um, which is just along here very pretty I just walked the dogs a few moments ago and it's very pretty along here there's one or two day vans in here as well and there's the uh, yacht club wander over here and see if we can find a way across the harbour. So literally beside the uh, yacht club is this area here, a little harbour, lots of narrow boats and things, Dutch barges and some people sat boarding. That looks like fun, mind you it's a bit of a breeze so I hope you can hear me. Murals on the wall here, must be a history of shipbuilding. This is, looks like a dry dock in here. There's lock gates down the bottom. And the Mersey is over to our left here. And uh, quite a brisk breeze this morning. The m 
West Bank Arena. Just noticing the uh, Holiday Inn at this end. And uh, we're going to walk along uh, just there. And we've noticed the uh, Liverpool Eye. Wheel. So here we are on Albert, Albert Dock, Liverpool. Well, we're at the confectionery shop and there's some jelly bellies. <laughs> there we go. All sorts of sweeties in there. I reckon Keith would like to come in here. Don't you? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Some lovely galleries yeah. over here. Yeah. And shops. Yeah. Susan's got a caramel slice, ain't ya? With nuts and a, a breakfast tea. There's a milk there and a little jug. I've got my normal green tea and one of these chocolate gluten, gluten free yummy things. <laughs> Look, do you use a spoon? A commemoration of the working horses of Liverpool. It's a original picture of it. Yeah, it's a original picture of the docks there. And uh, look at this, this is lovely. This propeller was one of four from passenger liner RANS Lusitania. She sailed between Liverpool and New York until she was torpedoed by the German submarine U-20 on the 7th of May 1915 with a loss of 1,191 lives. Nice little restoration project for us. <laughs> Some beautiful buildings just down here. We're going to go and have a little look. I think the Liver building is down there, one with a clock on it. And this is the Liverpool Museum here. Museum of Liverpool. And Sue's gone marching down there because she wants to uh, get on the hop on and hop off bus, which is down there. This is the Liver building, the one with the clock on it here. The one in front of it, I'm not quite sure of, but they're beautiful places. I'm gonna run and catch her up. City. Yeah, City, yeah. The longest reigning monarch, Prince Charles, has been longest there to death row. For 70 years. Never going to happen again, though. We'll never have a queen for that long again, will we? The biggest clocks in Britain. They're two feet wider than Big Ben. Or Queen Elizabeth Tower. That was completed in 1911, that building. I left it with the tallest structure in Britain. That short railway. 
Now, if you don't know the geography of the area, this is no longer Lancashire. It's now Merseyside of the county. Lancashire is one of the smallest shire counties now, but it was the biggest. So this is the main road from town. Town hall with the head of it. Turn left and head towards the cavern. I'll show you our music heritage as well. Now, for those that don't know, the cavern was a mecca for pop music in the 1960s. It was also the Mersey B era, and it really put Liverpool on the map. Mersey B era bands effectively gave us pop music from rock and roll. American rock and roll in British clothes and pop. We tore it down, you know, we got rid of the monarchy for a while, even though we're celebrating the Sun and Jubilee for this weekend. It was actually a real monarchy, it was a parliamentarian. Enjoy the spirit of the sound. It's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, come down. We've done a few of these city tours now, haven't we? Yeah. 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 Dublin. Dublin. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a, one in Germany and Hamburg. Yeah. Yeah. It's great, isn't it? You got a Oh, I did. I'm a senior now, by the way. <laughs> Football as well, even though we're commiserating. On your left, all the way to Runcorn for the first bridge over the Mersey. Because the tide arrange is too big, so are the boats. So on your left is the world beauty. In the middle is Central Library, on your left on side is. And then right at the top is the Walker Art yeah, but that's our walk along. Right and then on your left hand side, well I was asked to do a piece for the council recently about the statues in Liverpool. We have 133. And quite a few, quite a collection of statues on your left. St John's Guard. I suppose we're talking about social reformers and politicians and war heroes. But we even have a statue on your left hand side for the chapel who invented the crossword. Yeah, William yeah, Brown Street, the only yeah. road that we know of in Britain where every building is a cultural building. We're all dedicated to culture. Sorry to make our register. There was a statue, you're looking at Albert, who gave his name to our dog, who brought the German dynasty to the royals, Albert Sachs Coburn. On the steps to your left, the pet with seagull on his head. Lots of regeneration going on here. Queen Victoria behind the trees on your left. Does anybody know Arthur Wellesley on that column? Anybody know him? He's the Duke of Wellington up there on your left. Britain's greatest war hero, they say. The Duke of Wellington engaged with Napoleon in the Battle of Waterloo. And we overcame them. And it paved the way for the British to take over the world. The first architectural dock, Red Britain, dedicated to the Queen Victoria, but she didn't like it. She took a book from that covered in wood. It was like an abattoir. So he was given the nickname Waterhouse Slaughterhouse after this building. The story of that building here. And this is our university college. Stephanie Seaton. That's the shape. And Roman Catholic Cathedral designed by a Protestant. The Protestant Cathedral around the corner designed by a Roman Catholic. It's kind of how we rock and roll. That's, that was an old grammar school on the right. Paul McCartney and George Harrison passed the 11 foot and went to that grammar school for five years. Then he went to the art college and met his wife Cynthia. The older people sure took before Wednesday. And on your left is our biggest cathedral in Britain. 42 of them. That one on your left was designed by a 22 year old. So the name Giles Gilbert Scott. I'm going to give you some of his famous designs. Battersea Palace, then. Waterloo Bridge. The Cape Modern. The Foreign Office. The War Office. Part of St Pancras Station. Uh, Guildford Cathedral, Golden Road to Glasgow, the University, and all around Britain, the red telephone box. He designed all of them. Hello! Giles Gilbert Scott. Hello! Shanghai is in lockdown, isn't it? 25 million of them. Week six of lockdown. That was the warehouse network on your right, English flat. But he was mad. Crackers. This guy got sectioned for his madness, the madness of King George. 
the only reigning monarch who ever went mad. The world than any other event, and its independent struggle, which will took over the world and every bit of it. Now, is it far there to This is where I was when that team came on. Uh, some nerds that were the team, just round the table. Somewhere in the region of three quarters of a million people on the team. Or cheering the team over. The only thing that they failed to do that Liverpool team is the unachievable. Something that nobody else has ever done before at the halfway. And the salt would be used to preserve food across the Atlantic. They were just about keeping it from going rancid. It would take some of them during nearly two weeks across the Atlantic to America. 3,000 miles. Okay, we'll check you into the dock. All of this dock very nearly got knocked down. In fact, uh, the First Lady Prime Minister, Margaret, <coughs> sorry, Margaret, <coughs> sorry, stuck in me throat, can't get it out. Yeah, well, man's inhumanity to mankind was the slave trade, and Liverpool was right in the middle. We would sell anything we could sell them for. So the actual Albert Dock is that one on your right with the shimmer. And you see over your right shoulder, the tape gallery. It's all free if you want to go along the river. Now we are at the end of this particular tour. And the last one we will set off in a moment will be our last tour for today. Our last garden map. There we go, the old schoolie. Converted into a diner. And then a little van over here. There's plenty of places to get some snacks. Or an ice cream. Yeah. Well, that was a really enjoyable bus tour. We had to look quick, didn't you? Yeah. So, we had to look quick, but uh, hopefully, I can edit one or two of those shots. Uh, yeah, I think I need to take Sue up there. What do you think? I think we're going to go and find the Beatles now, aren't we? Yeah. We're back at the Albert Dock here. Uh, another courtyard where we could have a glass or something, Sue, do you want one? Uh, I'd like to get the Beatles first. You're going to the Beatles first? Okay.
Well, good morning. It's the next day and we've walked up the hill, quite a steep hill, to the cathedral. Let's have a look at the cathedral. Oh, 
been shown around by the guide that's here in front of us with his red cape and uh, the knowledge this gentleman has of this place is phenomenal. Well that is it for our trip to Liverpool, it was over far too quickly. We had 24 hours here in the city and uh, we could have easily uh, uh, taken two or three days. Um, we're off now along the coast to Southport and uh, we're going to stop off along the way. So that will be our next video and we'll see you on the northwest coast. Bye for now.